Hi, I'm Jim Stewart. I'm an independent pest control advisor. I uh, received my education at uh, UC Berkeley and graduated from Berkeley in 1962. In uh, 1965, I did move to, to the Valley here and uh, started as a, a uh, independent pest control advisor in mostly citrus at that time, but uh, tree and vine crops has been, been uh, my specialty. I knew the pioneers in, in uh, IPM, the, the ones that started the concept, that is uh, Dr. Smith, uh, Hagen, uh, Van and Bosch, and Stern. And uh, although I didn't help them with the concept, why well, I did learn from them. And uh, IPM is uh, very important. It uh, employs uh, all the methods of pest control or pest management. The, the importance of uh, IPM cannot be uh, overstressed. It is, of course, uh, uh, not the reliance on any one method of pest control, but incorporating all the methods into a, a successful program. Uh, one of the key points of, of IPM is monitoring. It's very important to monitor not only the pests, but the uh, beneficial insects as well. And this uh, you have to know the life cycles, of course, of, of the pests and uh, which stages are out at any one time so that you can search for them and uh, develop monitoring techniques. Many of the techniques have been developed, but, but uh, sometimes you have to, when a new pest comes in, you have to sort of reinvent the wheel, if you will. But the uh, uh, monitoring is, is extremely important. and, and um, you have to know where to look and uh, how to look, and uh, there's heavy reliance in, in uh, us independent pest control advisors to, on university to develop the best method of monitoring and also control techniques, and uh, when, when to spray and what to spray with. Another key important part of, of pest management is having a good tool to get you out of trouble when, uh, when you may have um, uh, let things go a little bit too far and you need you need a good chemical to to uh, bring the pest down under control. Uh, I'm reminded of uh, uh, back in my days, uh, parathion was used a lot here in the Central Valley uh, before I got here. Um, and it was generally known as a material that was very disruptive. Uh, however, uh, my experience, first experience after uh, uh, being up here the first year I was here, um, we found that, that um, parathion was not near as disruptive as, as it was thought to be. And uh, we were able to, to use it and, and only when absolutely necessary. And uh, it did not disrupt the uh, parasites and predators as much as some of the other chemicals were. So it's just one of those cases where you have to know the, the chemicals, what they will do, and uh, what they will not do. But it's very important to have a, a chemical in your hip pocket to be able to, to use when you're needed. The um, chemical companies have done a lot of research uh, and uh, come up with some very outstanding chemicals. And the worst thing that can happen from, from our viewpoint is uh, some people uh, use them too much and resistance takes place and then they're, they're not any good anymore. Uh, that's uh, sure a waste when that happens. Uh, uh, some chemicals become resistant in, after a very short period of time and, and they're gone and uh, uh, sometimes you can bring them back if you wait long enough for the, for the pest to, uh, to lose its resistance and, uh, and become susceptible again. But uh, having a good chemical to get you out of trouble is uh, extremely important. The, the thought of the chemicals, though, is that you don't reach for a chemical at the very first sign of a problem. You, you try to do everything you can to, to not use that chemical. And uh, sometimes that takes a little forethought. And uh, you have to do some cultural things that uh, will help uh, minimize the the, um, the upsets that uh, 
can occur with the use of some, some of the chemicals. Well, in, in summary, um, pest management is, um, is a truly a, a terrific mechanism that has been developed over a lot of years. And uh, the most important parts are trying to put all the, the various methods of pest control into one compatible program as compatible as possible. And the key elements are, in, in my view, are monitoring and also having a chemical in your back pocket to be able to use to get you out of trouble if trouble does in fact arrive.